Ashley. Ashley. I'm right here. I thought you were gonna die. Okay. You did this. Yeah. Yeah, I did this. Can you stand? Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go this way. Hey, we're a team, right? Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. So, all of this, removing the parasites, this was the week. Yeah. We're alive. Thanks to him. How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here back again for another exciting and final chapter of Resident Evil 4 Remake. That's right. This is the final chapter of the main game. But before we go on, let's go ahead and explore Luis' laboratory here because there's a lot of stuff to look at. Methods for eradicating Las Plagas. There are two ways to eradicate Las Plagas. Anti antigen inje injection and surgery. If the parasite has not hatched yet, it can be treated by administering antigen directly into the body. Once it's hatched, however, there there's not much that can be done besides slow growth. With surgery, the Plaga can be targeted and killed using a certain wavelength of radiation, but this is not without its risks. If the parasite has attached itself to the host's nervous system, the host will experience excruciating pain, and there is no effective anesthesia for this kind of procedure. Surgical removal carries considerable risks, even before the parasite has fully developed. Once fully grown, however, it is too late. Removing the parasite would kill the host. But considering what will happen to them, death may be mercy. So, Luis had a scar on his chest. I guess his was surgically removed before it got too big. And um, we got ours removed by the ra radiation or whatever Europe Laboratory 6 Dream Team and you can kind of see Lewis in the middle there I think interesting picture let's just keep looking around yeah this episode's not going to be too long so we might as well take our time Sadler's Animus do not be fooled into thinking that Las Plagas are merely tools for creating powerful bioweapons. Their true value lies in their ability to control. No matter how hostile the subject, a single injection can turn anyone into a faithful servant. Who needs spies when you can turn yesterday's enemy into, into today's ally? Controlling just one insider can bring an entire organization, an entire country, to its knees. Mass production of the superior species has made this possible. We have empowered Sadler. It is clear what he intends to do next. Can you imagine if Sadler had that much control? Six billion loyal servants at his sole command. There would be no opposition, no war. Maybe for the first time in human history, the world would know peace. But I know how Sadler and the others have oppressed the people of this island for generations. I know how he treats them. That's no way to live. And because of that, I won't let it happen. Yeah. Yeah, we saw in the caves, like, there was many generations of Saddlers being, like, preachers on this area of the world. The Amber. This sample, which I've come to call the Amber, was just sitting in the storeroom collecting dust. We used to have ample specimens for experimentation in the past, so it makes sense that this one was overlooked. In fact, the only reason I brought it back to my lab was because of its peculiar shape. After a basic analysis, I've changed my mind. The amber possesses a very unique quality. Although small and in a suspended state, it contains the same organ found in the dominant species, which we've only seen in Sadler himself. When fully developed, the amber may rival or perhaps even surpass Sadler's power. Wow, so that explains why they were after that amber that Luis said he was trying to give it to Ada. Ada's trying to get it. Unfortunately, the amber was confiscated by Sadler before I could ta make any further progress in my research. He may be on to me. I need to get my hands on that sample again and escape in order to continue my research elsewhere. It's the only way to counter Sadler. Of course, I don't think I can trust this outside group either, but I've already come this far. Hopefully I can sweet-talk my way out of this one too. 
I'll have to for the world's sake. Interesting, so someone had a field day looting the umbrella labs. Interesting, it still has the umbrella logo there. It's like the only time we actually see that in this game. Alright, anything else? Some masks in a like cleansing device, I'm assuming. Email subject regarding our arrangement from Luis. I've compiled the research data that you wanted. Meet me at the designated time and place. To be clear, you're going to get me the hell out of here if I bring you the goods, right? From AW, Ada Wong. I hope you haven't forgotten about the amber. Without it, the data is worthless. It would be a shame to let your seat go to waste. So do not make me return empty-handed. Do you still remember the code phrase, I assume? Relax, I haven't forgotten, and don't worry about the amber. I'll figure something out. Think you can pick me up a pack of smokes on the way. Any brand is fine. Probably the last emails that Luisa and Ada sent each other before they saw each other. This is the way that we came. Or no, 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 it's not. Uh, well, actually, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, we're going to go that way, but I think there's one or two more things we can interact with. Hold on. Um, how about the computer here? I'm surprised this thing even booted up. Yeah, that looks really like straight up from the 90s or thousands. Which I guess this game takes place in like 1994 or something like that. 96. Something like that. So this is a dead end room. So we actually do have to go out this way. We're going to do a little bit of looting. And uh, not too much else. But. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. Thank you. You're getting good at that. Right. Don't think there's any loot down here, so let's just go on up. You sure you're okay? Uh, never been better. Good. Of course I'm not okay, although I actually am feeling pretty great now that the uh, plug is out of my body. You know, that, that was kind of bad. Alright, let's get all this rifle ammo. Yeah, we're gonna... Do you guys remember the the sanctuary or the sacred place? As soon as we got in there, it went to like a cutscene. We didn't really get to explore it or anything. We're gonna get to explore it. The shotgun actually is not that great against Sadler. You actually need more precision for that reason I'd almost rather just have handgun because we're gonna be fighting Sadler pretty shortly and rifle ammo for sure um, yeah I got a lot of health uh, first aid kits all right so this is the spot where Ada was standing when she shot at Sadler that woman who helped us you think she's all right oh I'm sure she's fine she's not the type to roll over that easy like you know her well. I mean, we've tangoed once or twice, if you know what I mean. All right, there are some Novistador hiding around here. I don't remember where they are. Kind of wish I had my bioscope just for that, because if you have your bioscope, you can see them really easily. And I don't see them, but I know they're here somewhere. I'm probably just blind. Up oh, there's one. Okay, so right here, uh, the path actually splits. You can go right or left. Though it's easy to miss the left path because you gotta duck under here. But if you do that, you can get up to the altar which is where we want to go because it's just an awesome place. Oh. Didn't even see that one. Anymore. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Whoa. Oh, there's a pendant. And on the back... An inscription. Deep beneath the castle grounds, I have found my faith. 
O oh, behold the divine vestiges left upon this world. It all begins here. Adam Sadler. And look at their big old book. Illuminados final chapter. Praise be to the holy insects. We have been promised paradise on earth. Man, woman, or child, his love does not discriminate. Beast, fish, or bird, all creatures shall be equally blessed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the humble servants of God. His wisdom will overcome any mountain. His omnipotence will cross any ocean. The light of heaven dwells in all things. Let our bodies be the seedbed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the flock and the shepherd guides us. Our prayers will be sung all over the world. They will be heard by all. At last we shall exceed the stars in the sky. Dang. XV Osmond. So Osmond Sadler was the 15th one, I guess. So, yeah. They think that the uh, Plaga that was found under the castle is a way for them to, like, I don't know, go beyond this life somehow. You know what I mean? Go beyond the limitations of human and just kind of ascend into, like, godhood. They all say that they have the bodies of gods or the power of gods when you're fighting the bosses. So they feel that that's like an, an evolution of the human. It's like a superior evolution but unfortunately when you have to take over other people's bodies and brains that's a problem all right so just a little bit further there's a couple more insects here and there but nothing too serious miss me I'm not really, wor really worried if I miss some bolts at this point because I'm not even going to use it again. Except it may be New Game Plus. Big ol' gold ingot. One more jewel here. Or no, spinel. So, this is the last merchant that you will come across. I missed some gunpowder. Eh, I think I think we'll be fine. Actually, I can't, I hate that. We got to go get the gunpowder. We got to I got a lot of ammo, but I'm not about to leave one item behind. I wish I could just tell Ashley to wait, but the wor the best I can do is tell her to give me some distance. 5 gunpowder. Dang, Ashley, you opened the door right on me. The gunpowder won't really make a big difference, but it's just the moral of the principle or whatever. I don't want to leave loot behind. I guess we can go ahead and make some shotgun ammo, even though I probably won't even really use it that much. It's fine. All right, let's go sell. I have nothing that I can inlay all these gems in, so I could just sell all the gems. But I'm going to keep them, because you can keep them for your next playthrough as well. Breaks over, I suppose. Yes, yes it is. We probably won't even need this much ammo, but Welcome. Where would him? What can I do? You know what? I don't want to sell Luis key. It's only twenty five hundred. Almost I'm sentimental. He gave it to us. I'm not gonna sell it to the merchant. But I will sell the rest of that. Stranger. Let's tune up our knife and our body armor. Those are the two most important things you want to have fully repaired before the final boss fight, of course. And then, yeah, not, I mean, whatever else you want to do. I mean, I want to upgrade the Killer 7 some more. I just think it's a cool weapon. You have a ticket, do you? Nice. Boom. There you are. All right, good enough. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering, what if? Am I right? That's why I went back for the gunpowder, bro. Alright, one more save. Before we go fight. And that's it, guys. Leon, look! Is that... 
It is. Well, we found yeah. Ada. She's just hanging out. He thinks he's gonna lure me out. Uh, that's exactly what he's gonna do. Stay here. I won't be long. Okay. Don't shoot her down. That's gonna break her legs. Ada. Look at that height. Gosh dang it, Leon. That had to have been at least 20 feet. Kill me now, it's the only chance you're gonna get. Thank you, Ada. Legs of steel or titanium, who knows. Pistol, come on, I got way bigger guns. Let's see it. rejected that. What you gonna do about it? You are ugly. Right when he... Right when we get control, there should be an explosive barrel to his right. And as you can guess, you just want to shoot the eyeballs off of his legs while trying to dodge him. And he likes to spit black stuff at you, so watch out for that. Oh boy. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, hi. Hit that barrel. Ooh, that one had to hurt, right? There is loot that you can get around here, but... I mean, only if you really need it. Gosh, I run so slow. You know what? I'm gonna heal just because we're not at full health, and why not? I got so many healing items. Bro, are you coming? You're so slow. Come on, buddy. I'm literally going slow so you can catch up. Did that hurt? I bet it did. Oh, hello. Bet you like that. Oh, missed me. Oh, your eyeballs came back? Fine, I'll go this way. Uh, he's going to summon all the uh, flyers now. There's a lot of them, but they only have like one hit. I'm going to need the handgun ammo. I don't want to waste all my ammo on these guys. Wait till they get a little closer. Oh, okay. They're closer. Get up, Leon. Get up, Leon. You can shoot uh, Sadler while he's up there, but that'll just make him jump down faster. And honestly, it's easier to get rid of the bugs while he's not also attacking. Okay. Hey, hey, let go, let go. Oh, thank you made it easier for me to get to your eyeball. Ooh, he's 
gonna break that bridge. How dare you. Oh dang, I tried to crouch. Come on, buddy. I know you can do better than that. Oh, hi. You really like giving me an easy shot for your eye, don't you? You really gotta stop doing that. Duck to not get hit by that nastiness. Oh, hi. I was wondering when you were gonna show up. Miss me. Really, bro? You're trying to take over the world with these weak little, like, mosquitoes? Ooh, nice tail whip. Not gonna lie, I didn't know you had that kind of reach. Gonna make me actually use one of those? Aw, oh, you broke the other platform. I wanted to get over there because there was more explosive barrels. Where are you going, bro? Up there? Oh, miss me. Miss me again. Okay, that time I let you hit me. Kinda hard to hit his last eyeball when it's, oh, hi. Miss me. I wanna get up this ladder, please. You're kind of in my way. Excuse me, thank you. Oh, nice, handgun man. Oh, hi. Uh, can I please shoot your last eyeball over here? There we go. Alright, time to magnum you in the face. And knife. Not too much more of those and he's dead. Yeah. What's the matter, Sadler? Just getting killed by one guy? Just one? Guess it only takes one American to kill you. Big ugly. Sick of your shit. At this point, we're gonna unload everything we can onto his core because we can't even escape this little uh, area that we're in. So just shoot everything we can at that thing while trying to dodge finally look that suit you Sadler. a monster in and out still i need to cut the stage short it's not me it's you use this <sighs> thank you could have thrown me that earlier Hey buddy, take this. That's actually a special rocket launcher you only get during this last boss fight. It's pretty cool. I'll give you a holy body. Convenient, the sample landed right next to me. Another dominant species, uh, the only <laughs> other one they found. Ada, what the hell are you doing? Nothing personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. Mm -hmm. Right here. You coming? 
think we both know this. It's where we go our separate ways. I see. Why is the island always blowing up at the end of video games? Two minutes. That's plenty of time, right, Ashley? I still got a lot of ammo left over. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. We could heal and we could save. This is literally the last save you get. And honestly, you don't really need it unless you die. I guess you can die on this part. Uh, let's see, any loot up here? Not really. Although there is a clockwork castle in that we haven't got yet. And yes, We're not Ashley. Out of here yet. I'll show you guys where it is, don't worry. By the way, now that Sadler is dead, all of his minions are uncontrolled. And check this out. So look around, look around. Did it. All 16. Ignore the guys and just run. Easy to miss that clockwork uh, castle in if you're not like looking around, just trying to run off the island as fast as possible, you know? Be funny if they had one of those like five medallion quests right here. Just felt like it. You like thrill rides? You gotta love this. Yes, yes, there is a jet ski mission. Let's go. One of the reasons I love this game is the variety of gameplay. There's just so many things that you don't expect. Okay, well, that's not a great start. I can only take so much damage. Oh my gosh, I'm already half health and we're just getting started. This is bad. I might legit actually fail this. I did it my first try on my other account. Good God. This thing does not turn very sharp. Oh God. And I'm taking a lot of damage. Go, Leon. Go. Oh, my. Hard left. Woo. This is crazy. I can see the light. I can see the light. We're so close. I, oh god. The light! We see the end of the tunnel! Let's go! I'm so close to dying. Oh yeah. GG. That's game. <laughs> we beat the game. We beat it, baby. You alright? I'm not sure that was insane. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Mission accomplished, right? Mission accomplished. 
when you're home safe. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. You know, I could put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested? You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. Even if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. <gasps> Rooster Condor 1, do you read me? Come in. I said come in. Is this thing even on? Leon. Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Where are you? Come on. I don't know about Ashley handling herself, man. All right, let's watch this. It's kind of a, it tells the story of the village in the uh, credits here. And then at the very end of the credits, there's another cutscene, I think. So enjoy the upbeat kind of happy music while we look at pictures from before the village went to complete shit. Children playing, farmers working, Fishing in the boats. Remember when we found that letter, how excited they were that the ironworks were open and stuff? They were advancing. Everybody was happy. Like, more outsiders were coming into the village. There's, I believe, Luis and his grandfather. Or his father. Luis and his father before his father got bit by the wolf and turned into one of them and all that. And, uh, seemed like a nice little village. The Saddlers, I guess, were on that island, which is just outside of the village. Remember, we had to take a boat to get there. And I guess they're jet skiing back to the mainland. And now the music takes a darker turn as we see Saddler and his uh, minions come from the castle to the village. And they infect them all inject them all with the uh, parasite which as you know gave him complete control over the entire village there's the amber yep I mean I get that he was gonna be able to provide like peace like no more war and whatever but by by giving total control of the entire world to like one person that, that ain't right look at that Amber of the dominant species that could even be more powerful than Sadler. It looks so tiny. Patch me through. I've obtained the Amber. Excellent. Just one question. What are you planning to do with this? We do not pay you to ask questions. All you need to know is a new dawn is breaking. A hundred will give their lives so that just one may live. I am expediting that change. So we're talking millions of casualties. Billions. How ambitious. We're changing course now. Ada the good guy now? Not even gonna pick up Leon and Ashley. Who's she gonna give the amber to? I'm gonna go ahead and let the music play in the credits and everything. I think there might be something at the end of the credits. It is quite a long credit, so uh, I'm not gonna talk the whole time, but 
thank you guys for watching if you're if you don't want to watch credits and um yeah it was a great playthrough loved it uh let me know what you thought in the comments if you've never played the game before let me know what you thought of the game and if you have played the game before either the original or the remake go ahead and let me know your thoughts i love hearing from you guys thank you and i hope to see you in the next one i'm gonna be doing a video at least one episode on the mercenaries part all right let's enjoy this song Never ache for a place called home Can't hold on so tight Gotta let it all go I have a purpose It's all that I need To help me find my way Every day Keep your eyes on the road ahead Don't be drawn into the light Or the shadows in your head Keep your eyes on the road ahead And don't ever look Never look back cause I, I got a feeling in my bones that everything's gonna be fine, yeah. don't ever look back, don't ever look back. I fought a war and I learned how to win, but how do you fight when the enemy's within? Find your pride, go deeper inside. For the fire that will light your way The ones you trust can one day betray You're the hunter and then you're the prey You pay the cost, it all feels lost Then you hear a voice inside you say Keep your eyes on the road ahead Don't be drawn into the light or the shadows in your head
Good work. Not really. <laughs> Only a B grade. That's not that great. <laughs> oh man. If you're still watching, congratulations. He made it to the end of the credits. Destroy all clockwork castlings. Unlock the primal knife, which I'm pretty sure is unbreakable. Though I don't think it does as much damage as Krauser's knife. So, I don't know. Cool. Well, that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I do unlock New Game Plus after this. So, um, as you can see, when loading main story from a completed playthrough, you can carry over the data, start a new game. You'll be able to purchase new weapons from the merchant, but you cannot achieve an S plus rank. So there is a little bit of new stuff from if, if we uh, decide to do a new game plus run, that was the save on my original and I'm going to save this one right here. So I actually already beat the game twice, essentially <laughs> once on my original unrecorded playthrough, which I did to get familiar with each chapter before I would record it. So I don't look like a total noob. And this one was the one I recorded. The one I didn't record, we actually went through faster, surprisingly. Only 14 hours. Or actually, that's the time at which it was saved. Not the, not the hours played. That always con confused me. Anyways, yeah, let me know uh, if you want to see me play through New Game Plus. Otherwise, uh, we're probably just going to do the Mercenaries. And, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom comes out in a couple of weeks. So I'll probably be starting a playthrough of that. But yeah, now that we beat the game, you can see the main menu is a little bit different looking, I think. I think it was a different scene before. So it's kind of cool. Also, uh, for beating the game the first time, you guys didn't see it, but I did unlock a new suit for Leon. Although I don't see it here. Maybe I have to... Maybe I have to start it on New Game Plus before it'll it'll show it. Because for some reason, it's not here. But I unlocked the pinstripe uh, suit for Leon. Kind of looks like a Chicago gangster. Anyways, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.